can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Given that x plus 6 multiplied by 9 minus x equals 5, then our goal is to find the numerical value of x plus 6 raised to the power of 2 plus 9 minus x raised to the power of 2. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. Alright, so given this equation, x plus 6 multiplied by 9 minus x equals 5, then our goal is to find the numerical value of x plus 6 raised to the power of 2 plus 9 minus x raised to the power of 2. Now, one method is, of course, to solve for the value of x and then substitute to this equation, to this expression rather, and get this equivalent value. But in this video, we will do different thing. Now, let's begin. Let's have x plus 6 be equal to a and 9 minus x be equal to b. All right. Now, we know that a must be equal to x plus 6 and b equals 9 minus x. So our given equation becomes a times b equals 5. And now take note, since we set x plus 6 be equal to a and 9 minus x be equal to b, so now our goal is to find the numerical value of a squared plus b squared because a is x plus 6 and b must be 9 minus x. All right. Now let's set aside this equation a b equals to 5 and let's get a equals x plus 6 and b equals 9 minus x. Now, how can we find the value of a squared plus b squared? And the one thing to notice here is a equals positive x plus 6 and this b equals 9 minus x. So why not? Let's add these two equations. Now, what is the purpose? Because we have a positive x and negative x. If we add this, this is just equal to 0. So now, we can say that a plus b must be equal to 6 plus 9. And 6 plus 9, this is just 15. Now, using these two equations, a plus b equals 15 and a b equals 5, we are now ready to find the value of a squared plus b squared. To do that, let's square on both sides. And now take note, a plus b raised to the power of 2, if we expand this, this will give us a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And 15 squared, this is very easy. 15 times 15 is just 225. Now, on the left-hand side of our equation, let's rearrange some terms a little bit. Now, take note. We have a squared plus b squared. This is what we want to find. And also, we have a value for a times b. This is given using our first equation that ab must be equal to 5. So we can replace ab with 5. 